Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fix and Repair. Today I'm going to show my viewers how you can adjust a dual gate shifter. This shifter in particular is a 1967. I think they started making these in 64. Uh, they changed the design a little bit here and there. But this is a 67 dual gate. came out of a GTO. It's in my cutlass. So I had the problem with this shifter. I was in a parking lot, and then I went to go start the car. It wouldn't start. I thought <clears throat> there was something wrong with it, obviously, and I started shaking my shifter handle and running through the gears, the gates, and when I put it back in park, it did engage the switch, and it did start. So when I got home, I tore it all apart, and I checked out the neutral safety switch on the inside here, and it did have a problem where one of the zinc tabs, for some reason, was broken off and it was starting to separate. So I drilled some holes in there and I took a zip tie and I zip tied it to cinch it together. And then I put JB Weld all over the switch. But I still had the uh, problem where sometimes they're intermittent and it wouldn't want to start the car. And then also, when I put it in reverse, the backup lights didn't want to come on all the time. Well, right down inside of here, I'm going to take my flashlight. Hopefully you can see it. See that right there? That's an adjustment screw. And that screw allows you to adjust this arm, which runs over here to that neutral safety switch. So by turning it either clockwise or counterclockwise, you can adjust when the contacts engage on that half moon safety switch. I don't think you can probably see it, but that's what that does. So you just take a Phillips screwdriver, stick it down in there, and you turn it until your shifter corresponds with the action that you want. And since it only has two switches on it, when you have it in reverse, you want the backup lights to come on, and when you have it in park, you want it to be able to start. That was a little bit out of adjustment, and that's why it wouldn't start. And that's something you can try first before you spend money on, on an $80 switch. Now, I'll show you how I came up with an idea Instead of having your friend yelling at you when it's in uh, reverse and the backup lights come on, I just have my second phone here. And there it is. And I'll show you. I'll put the car in park. I'll start it. It starts fine. And now I'll put it in reverse. And the lights come on. And when I go into neutral, the lights go off. And that's an easy way to get the fine adjustment to make sure that your lights work accordingly. So there it's in park. Put it in reverse, lights come on. Go to neutral, lights go off. But you can find adjust it that way. This little hack I came up with today asking your friend, are the lights on or lights off? Blah, blah, blah. Well, hopefully this helps you and maybe it saves you anywhere between $50 and $100 for a neutral safety switch. The cheapest one I found online was $51 with shipping. Maybe you could find one on eBay and, and get new old stock, but I fiddled with this first and it saved me a few bucks. All right, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like my sombrero, give me a comment. Take care.